Hi guys, so today we're going to look at how to create a visual schedule um, using lesson picks. Visual schedules are extremely helpful with um, building metacognitive awareness of routines, of time management, um, a lot of executive functioning skills that some of our students are struggling with. Um, this can help across grade levels and it can be modified um, based on your students' needs and your classroom schedule. In order to create a visual schedule, you can go into clip art and we can choose the clips that depict the routine in our day. I'm going to clear out my tray here because I was creating something earlier. So let's say that you would like to create a visual schedule for your morning routine. Um, sometimes schedules for our younger ones can help if it's something like coming in the door, unpacking, putting your folder away, washing their hands, um, following those multi-step routines. So we'll start by putting our backpack away. Now I am using pictures that are built into lesson picks. Um, sometimes our students, if they have a really hard time even following it with these clip art pictures, we can use pictures of their actual items. Um, that helps a lot with students who have language impairments. Um, they have a lot of difficult times conceptualizing information. Um, a lot of times it needs to be pertinent to them. So you can see here that I've uploaded pictures of um, actual students' backpacks, um, and I can show you how to do that as well. But for the purpose of this activity, we'll just go ahead and use the clip art pictures that are already embedded. So unpacking our book bag, then let's say putting our folder away. Again, I'm just making this up. That would be whatever your routine is in your classroom. So here's a folder that I've uploaded. Then we want them to wash their hands. Okay, so wash hands. And you can see here, I'm just going into the clip art and then searching. Um, and you can choose, we'll get to it once we hit create materials, but you can choose the um, label for each picture. You don't, you're not tied to just using that one. Um, and then we'll say begin morning work. And obviously there's a lot of selection here. Um, if your work looks different, there's a lot of options. Let's see, I'll just choose a generic one here. Again, this might be a good area to use a picture of your student actually working on something, like their power words or whatever they do in the morning. Um, sometimes that can help them really connect it to what they should be doing. But we'll just use the stock photos for now. So I've got our four steps here. So now I'm ready to create my schedule. Um, I believe you can have up to six, and some of the schedules have up to 10 options for steps. But we like to keep it pretty short and sweet for our young kiddos. Um, so we'll go ahead and cre create materials. And you can see all the options in here. We're going to go to picture schedule. Don't worry about this, this is just one of the options. Okay, and this is where you can label what the task is. Um, so I might say, hang up backpack, folder in basket. See, I've already made one. <laughs> Wash hands. And then start morning work. If you want to add two steps, like if they had to put two folders away, you can add a picture of the folder by clicking this. Um, it'll just come up with another one. When you're ready, go ahead and click Next. Then this is where you can decide what type of schedule you want um, and if you want the titles on there or not. So I might just call this a sample schedule. Um, I do have four steps, so I'm going to keep it as that. And this is where you can kind of check out which kind you want. Um, checklist schedule is really nice because it allows a student, if you laminate it, to just use a marker to check off each step as they go. Um, there's a little bit um, different ones here if you have more options or if you have multiple pieces of your day, say your schedule or their expectation is different, different days of the week, um, you can use something like this. I would suggest covering up the options that are not being used for that day though. Um, I like to veer away from the cutesy monkey ones and things like that. Sometimes that can be distracting for our students um, with 
disabilities or just students with poor executive functioning, they have a really hard time um, figuring out what is salient information and what's not. So we want to make sure we're really focusing them into what are they supposed to be doing. Um, so I'm going to stick with the checklist schedule. And you can adjust the font and everything if you'd like. Um, I am going to choose the image titles are shown because that will list the actual steps. Um, once you're all done, you can click finish. And it will generate it for you. It will be a PDF. So once you hit download, it will be in your downloads. You can print it, you can export it as a PDF, um, send it to your team, send it to, if you're uh, departmentalized, you can send it to whoever your partner is so that they have it in their room. Um, it's totally up to you. So let me see here. So this is what it'll look like. You can print it, laminate it, stick it on your kiddo's desk or wherever you feel that they should be checking into until the morning. Okay. Say I made this schedule and I wanted to use it for another student later on and I thought, hey, I remember I had that schedule for Johnny and I want to use it for Bob. I'm going to go into my lesson picks over here. And this is your dashboard. You can go back where it says see all materials and you can locate all the materials you've made before. Um, so you can pull it up here. And there it is. You can re-download it. You can just upload the pictures if you want to use different titles. Um, that way you're not starting from scratch. So that is how we create a visual schedule. I hope this helps you all in your classroom um, and helps your students establish some independence with their morning routines.